What's up, guys? James here from Knives and Stones. For many of you who's watching this channel, you probably have a bit of idea, or maybe a lot of idea about Japanese sharpening stones. You will probably know that Naniwa is one of the most reputable Japanese manufacturer for sharpening stones, and the Chosera line, these ones that I'm holding, is one of their most famous and the best performing offerings. In this line, there are two stones that are very close to each other, and for years, there are discussions about which one is probably better, and the stones are the Chosera 800, and the Chosera 1000. For many years, even myself have wondered this question, which one between these two is the better one? I've got people from Reddit that's talking about it, I've seen people on Night Kitchen Night Forums that are, that are talking about it. Even in one of my recent video about comparing Septon 1000 and Naniwa Chosera 1000. In that video, on the comments, someone was asking this question. So I suppose this is a question that many of us have wandered down into our hearts. And to be honest, as an average user, no matter if you are an enthusiast or if you are a professional, you the chances are you will probably not going to buy both of these. And the truth is, even myself, I have never really tested both of them side by side before. I mean, I do have a lot of experience with the 1000 because that's what our store use. And for the 800, I occasionally use, use it to sharpen, but I don't normally use it. So on today's episode, we are going to sharpen my little kiridashi on both of these stones and we will be analyzing the results specifically their service finishes under the microscope So guys, you have seen the results. What do you think about them? For me, I find that the 800 gives a more visible scratch pattern compared to the Chosewa 1000. They have very little sharpening feedback difference. So when you are sharpening the actual stone, I find that they actually perform very similar. And you can feel that the 800 is that slightly faster, which reflects on the sharpening pattern. You can you can literally see that scratch is more visible on the 800 than the 1000. In saying that, the 1000 
is not slow at all. It's really fast. So for me, my take is that if you prefer a harsher, more direct feedback, you probably go for the 800 grid. But if you're like me, that just kind of like that slightly better feedback and you like it more refined and even service finish, then you will probably go for the 1000. The 800 kind of reminds me of the Septon 1000, the Septon Color Marco or Septon Pro 1000 if you really want to draw a picture and put put three of them together. You said the 800 is kind of closer to the Septon 1K than it actually close um, to the Chosera 1K. But there is absolutely no problem in choosing any of those. I hope that today's video can help you in deciding if you're going to get 800 or 1000 down the track. And that's it really from me. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time.